Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Mega Wolf, and welcome to Heart and Slash. Now this is a demo build, an alpha build of a game going through Kickstarter right now. And I believe it's made its goal, it has a few days left. So if this video interests you, if the game interests you, then go to their Kickstarter, which I shall link below to uh, support them and get a copy of the game when it's released. As per usual, this is an alpha build, so all the gameplay may not reflect the blah 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 and the sound effects are placeholder. So yeah, as you can hear, there's no menu music or anything, so let's just jump right into it, shall we? Beep. Be quick, I hear them coming. I know, a stellar voice acting from me. Why risk so much for it? We need more robots or the PPP will disappear. The more robots we bring, the more risk. Come on, hurry up, beep. Okay. So here we are. We're this little lovable droid with a heart for a face. And it shows us the controls up there. We can move with the left stick and control the camera with the right. I am currently using an Xbox 360 controller, by the way. We run if we hold down the two trigger buttons. We jump with the A and back dash with the B. And so if we just walk over here to the main room, we're going to see some things we can pick up. These are randomized every single time. You're going to notice something familiar about this game. Obviously, the gameplay is uh, different because it's a hack and slash, but you're going to learn quite quickly what this game is kind of themed around in a way. So let's see. We have the sticky legs, specially designed legs for extra adherence. Hold onto walls and prepare yourself from them. Oh, so I get a wall jump? So that is a body part. And what I love the most about this is it reflects on your character. So, hang on, let me see. Oh yeah, it's like a wall jump. Oh, that's cool. Ah, alright. So you have body part upgrades, which are, you get four of them. You get head, body, arms, and legs. And you also get... Uh, oh, this is an arm part. Use your speed to push enemies away in style. Oh, I don't know what that does. I think that might just make my attacks really good. Which is, by the way, a baseball bat! Oh man, I think I shouldn't have taken that. Now we're on warning mode! And the music kicks in and it's awesome. Okay, so let us go this way into the next room. This floor means something special. I never really figured it out, though. I think they, at some point, are going to mention what that means, though. So the idea is to go from room to room, clearing out droids, getting experience for their kills, finding upgrades, and I don't know if there are any extra floors, because right now, this demo is hard. It's very difficult at the moment, but they do intend on toning it down a bit. Uh, it's just for the sake of... Showing it off, I guess they didn't care. Oh, there he goes. Well, Whoa. but yeah, some enemies are really tricky to defeat. You hold the or you bash the X button to do basic attacks, and the Y button does a heavier attack. Now, if we had different weapons, we'd be able to, with the left and right trigger, change to them on the fly to be able to change up gameplay mode or yeah, say if one of them has an element that's better than the other. So right away, you might be getting the idea of, uh, oh, that is the uh, repeller, I remember now. When I'm running really fast, it makes a barrier that kind of pings them away. What's this? The meat cleaver. Put that in the right slot. So now that we have that in the right slot, if I hold down the right trigger, I'll bring out the meat cleaver, which, you know, could be usable for many reasons, maybe... Uh, an enemy is weak to slashing, but not uh, smashing, like with my baseball bat. I don't know if that is a good example or not, but I know some of these weapons have like elemental damage. Oh! So you got to pick and choose your weapon of choice. Okay, so now that we've killed a bunch of dudes, we've actually got some extra experience. We started off with a thousand anyway. If I pause again to bring up this menu that I showed you before, we can actually use this experience to level up what we're using. I'm going to level up the baseball bat all the way. So now we have aluminium handles, an empty core, refined wood. We can even upgrade ourselves to give us uh, more health. Yep, more maximum health as well as being able to run a bit faster and so on. 
The only thing I wish that upgrading did was reflect on your character again. Maybe make him look fancier or more upgraded or make the weapons look... But again, this is an alpha, so that might be something they plan to do, so... You know. But if, if you didn't plan to do that, do that. That'd be really cool. I don't know why, I just like that. It's a nice aesthetic choice. Okay, these guys... These guys are deadly, because if you kill them, they explode. Whee! Though you can use that to your advantage, so... Oh, that was a good run. That was actually pretty good. I think this floor does something special. I think it increases their attack power. I'm not sure. I'm only going by what kind of things I see. What is this? Is this a suit? Show your status. Uh, invest to increase your XP. It might be expensive, but dressing smart pays off. Oh. <laughs> Look at that, though. I am the dapperest of fellows. All right. Uh, is there anything past that room? I don't think. Oh, there is, actually. How the hell am I meant to get past that, though? I guess jump over to those pipes? Whoa, 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 No, okay, maybe not. Oh! <laughs> All right, gonna, let's not go in there. Let us continue going and exploring a different direction. One that doesn't involve me falling down a pit. Okay, let's go down this way. Easy, an easy, easy room for me. Just a straight bridge. I think that works out best. Oh, another warning room. Now, I don't know if the warning rooms are just... You have to clear them, essentially, I think is what it is. But you can get some bosses in these rooms, so... Oh, whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you think you're doing? Oh! Whoa! What happened there? I don't even know. I think it tried to display what I was doing, but went behind a wall or something. So, oh god, it had trouble. Speaking of trouble... Ugh! Ow, son of a bitch. This guy's dazed, now's my chance to strike. Now the only thing so far, I think the reason why it's it's considered quite difficult is because you can't lock on to enemies, which is a little, little annoying. Um, but again, could be a feature planned and not implemented right now. Uh, and also health pickups seem to be very rare. Like you occasionally get a unit that likes to give you a power up or a health up rather. But you don't really find them that often. So that's that's another reason why I feel this is pretty difficult so far. But overall, I'm I'm pretty happy with the way this is playing. I spent quite a bit of time on stream playing this. Probably a good hour, maybe. Uh, maybe a little less, but it must be a good hour. I imagine I'd play the hell out of the full game when it comes out. The only problem is I can... I always have trouble. Trouble? I was trouble? What? I always have trouble! I always have trouble supporting Kickstarter because uh, not not because of a moral issue but literally I have issues with getting Kickstarter to do anything because I, I use PayPal for a lot of things so Kickstarter is like I don't like PayPal so if they do a separate PayPal option then I'll definitely do that when I get the money oh there we go these little flying guys were from the uh, hallway I just passed to get in this room there we go not bad, not bad. Though I could use a bit of healing. Or maybe I could, uh... Can I level myself up anymore? I can! Well, there you go. That's at least for some heals. Use some... Okay, there's nothing on the other side of that room. There's no point in me being in it. I believe if you go a certain distance away from certain rooms, the doors will shut. So, if there are enemies you don't want to fight, just leg it. <laughs> and you should be okay. Okay, so... That... Oh, God. So that way is another... Okay, I'm going to try and go into one of these longer rooms. I don't like the longer rooms. The longer rooms annoy me because they're generally just stuff I can fall off and I'm not very good at jumping. Whoop! There we go. I like that he has some weight behind his jumps. Okay, so this doesn't have anything in it. I'll fight the enemies though, why not? Oh, they're just standard enemies! Did I get... Oh, I don't know if I got the experience for him falling off or not. Urgh! Oh god! Whoa! Forgot they were going to explode. Can I upgrade anything else? Why can't I press... Oh, there we go. Uh, what do we have here, then? Oh, I see. Oh, wow! You can get some good experience returns off that, then. That's pretty good. Bigger force field. Yeah, alright. And... Greater height and greater control. So now I can jump pretty high? I don't know. Let's see how big this is. 
doesn't seem much bigger. Maybe it just is, and it doesn't display it. I don't know. That's what I'd like to see. I'd like to see, like, more visually upgraded things. It'd be cool. Again, that's a, a, a nitpick, really, and uh, more like, no, not a nitpick, like a recommendation, I guess, it is the better way to say it, I guess. Ah, son of a bitch. The nice thing is that if you fall off and you're closer to the other door, you actually go onto the other door, so that's nice. Particle cannon? Oh, I've not had this gun before. Whoa, what the? Whoa, I don't even know what that did. Ow. I'm not dodging, really, which is probably an issue for me. Whoop. I should try and dodge more. Shit, no! <laughs> Darn! <laughs> I'm going to try one more time, because the items that randomize every, uh, every playthrough, so... I might get a better setup. Whee! Gotta run fast. Alright, also, of course, the everything changes as well. The ancient mask of the f from the Far East disappear in a puff of smoke. Oh, look at me! I have, like, neat chimney effect. I'm like a steam train. Okay, uh, the combat shotgun. I've used a shotgun before, so... And the seven-day training weights. Okay, well... Are you ready? <laughs> There's only one way for me to go in this one. Alright, well, down we go, I suppose. Sometimes the floors can be mean. Like, for example, you can have a different floor like the ones I think deal, like, double damage. But you can have one that just is flat damage. That just attacks you, basically. Oh god, whoa, my word. Did I run into a boss room or something? Holy shit. Okay, I actually want to level up my gun. Because a leveled up gun in this is pretty good. Incendiary arrow! Arrow! Ammo! Arrow! Pow! Oh my god. See how powerful that is? It's ridiculous. Oh! <laughs> Probably my favorite gun out of the lot so far. I wasn't quite sure what I was doing with the other... The uh, particle cannon that we got. Okay, he's resistant to fire, so... If I shoot him to make him go down... And beat him up, he's weak to this. Yeah, there we go. Not bad. Okay. What can I actually level up? Uh, training weight. I think you get more experience by killing things with the training weight. I'm not sure. Stone mask, what does that do? Hide for longer, no smoking. I don't know what that does. So I'm going to level me up instead. Oh! Oh! That, okay. So, I become invisible when I backdash. That's neat. That is very neat. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh my god. Holy shit, it's like Ninja Run from Metal Gear Rising. Okay, there's a warning in here, so... Where is that warning? I love the graphics style of this, by the way. If we were all made equal, why be different? Don't be weird. <laughs> but I'm the heart robot. I love being weird. Okay. So... Oh, oh, oh! Ah, damn it. <laughs> Lock and load. Pow! I don't even know if I hit him. Oh, oh. Okay. Are these the only two in here? I guess they are. Ow. The only problem about these guys, you run into them and you take damage just from running into them. Smash, smash, smash! Yeah! Reload that. Oh, did I break his, uh, I broke his visor. Nice. There we go. Let's reload. All right, let's, I think this is the way. Ah, oh, here we go. Here's one of those, uh, floors I said that just damage you. Now, you can't walk on that, which is a bit of a pain. I think, uh oh, I think you can if you get a certain upgrade. Oh, God damn it. This guy's going to be Ugh! Yeah, fire my gun! So actually, he's not too bad. It's a good thing I picked up this gun, because it's probably the best weapon to use uh, on him when he's on an electrified floor like that. There we go, he's already flashing red, yeah! Nice! Oh god, I'm being invaded by more of these things. 
Go to the next room. Go to the next room. What is that? I don't know. It looks like a big shield. Oh, it's a rubber shield. That'd be why it looks like a big shield. Can I block? Oh, okay, I can't. <laughs> I was like, can I block incoming attacks with this? Some shield. Jeez. All right, let's run ahead. Okay, another electrified floor. Uh, long room over there. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, got to get rid of them as, as quickly as possible. Woo! Oh, did I just break your visor? I think I did. Ooh. Smash. I would love to do a Let's Play of this game when it comes out. This is right up my alley. Especially if I can cheese long range attacks. Mind you, I, I'm pretty happy to do that. They're resisting, though. There you go, you're weak. Oh, God. No, what happened? Oh, I don't know. I died, though. God damn it. <laughs> so, that was Heart and Slash. If that looks interesting to you, it certainly looks interesting to me, then go to the Kickstarter below in the description. Of course, it only has a few days, so if you're listening to this at a later date, there might be another way to support them, or at least follow their progress. Either way, it is looking awesome. If that's a pre... If that's like an alpha, I cannot wait. Honestly. And... That's it, I guess. Thank you for watching. Throw us a like if you enjoyed. Okay, thanks. Bye.